how to get started using a respond.io this is going to be a video uh dedicated for those who are just getting started beginners for respond.io so watch till the end and i will show you just the basics on how to get started uh what respond.io is going to help you with and all of those things so let's just go ahead and talk about what respond.io is respond.io is a platform that you can actually use it is a paid uh, platform it is not for free but you can actually go ahead and try it for free uh for i believe seven days try it out first and then you can just go ahead and subscribe if you have uh, found it to be helpful now respond io helps you with your chatting and just conversations with your leads this is just going to ensure that you uh, are on top of things when it comes to uh, responding to leads which should in return uh, guarantee more um, you know conversions from those uh, customers basically so respond.io is going to help you in plenty of different ways you can have automations when it comes to chats you can actually use different uh, chat platforms like whatsapp email and so on so you can read here chats with leads make more money capture leads automate chats and converse uh, con converse to convert with the leading customer conversation management software uh, you can read more about how it works. You can see you can automate your chats with AI, which is actually a great future that uh, Respond offers. And you can just see more futures that it actually offers. So let's actually get started. So if you want to get started, just go to respond.io uh, and we can just sign up for free. But first, I will show you the pricing because I believe you would need to know exactly how much you would be paying for uh, if you want. So build monthly you will have the three plans that are available here so you will have the starter plan which is going to be 99 dollars a month uh five users included and you can see uh if you want to add additional users it's going to be 15 dollars a month uh so we can see here some of the uh let, let me just compare this first so we have 199 and three four uh nine for the advanced uh you can see the differences between them I would recommend that you actually get to this page uh, yourself and compare them so you can see exactly which one suits you best. So with that being said, let's just sign up and see what respond.io looks like from the inside. So just go to respond.io, click sign up for free. And then here you would want to obviously sign up. Uh, it's going to be a basic signing up process, nothing too difficult. So I'm just going to do that and skip uh, until I get to the dashboard. In this step of signing up, you will need to add more details about your organization and company. Uh, they're going to ask you about your organization name, website, phone number, industry, where you will have some options here to choose from, obviously. Uh, you can always just choose other if you don't find what you're working with. Uh, just selected uh, role, which is just going to be your role. So whether you're going to be the owner, director, and so on. And then lastly, it's just going to be, how did you hear about us? So I'm just going to fill this in and get back to you. Now, this step is going to be one of the more important ones here. So they're going to ask you, what are the primary communication channels you want to connect? Uh, here you will need to select um, so the actual communication channel that you prefer to so chat with the clients or customers, I mean. So you can just choose, for example, email, WhatsApp, um, sms and you will only be able to choose up to three i believe from within the actual app you'll be able to add more uh not 100 sure to be honest but for the time being you can just select up to three i believe i'm just going to stick with email for the time being but it's going to work the same for uh, all of these channels let me just do website chat as well uh let me just keep it as this so email website chat but for yourself, you can just set up WhatsApp, Telegram, Viper, and so on. And then here you have more questions. Uh, so what is your primary primary business goal on Respond.io? And which category best describes your company's focus? So just feel free to answer them accordingly. Um, so you would obviously know the answer better than me. Uh, answer them and just get to the next step. Okay, great. So once you actually sign up, you should find yourself in this page. Let me just exit out of here. So uh, actually, you will find a tutorial video which you can skip or watch. It really depends. If you would like to watch it, it could be helpful, actually. 
Um, but I'm just going to cover the basics of what you can do with a respond.io regardless. So you can just skip and after you skip, you can just find yourself in here. So here we have our respond.io. We have the dashboard on the left side. We have the inbox, which is just going to have all the messages and stuff. So it's just an inbox. And then we have the contacts, uh, which is going to have the list of all the contacts that you have and their information. We have the broadcast, uh, which you can actually send out um, a message for multiple contacts at once, which is great. We have one of the most uh, more important ones, which is going to be the workflows. Uh, workflows allows you to automate messages uh, to uh, your customers. This is just going to be the automation place. So you can just go ahead, feel free to create your automations from scratch. And I believe they do have templates for uh, workflows or automations that you can choose from. Then we have reports, which is going to be analytics. And then we have also settings. So uh, if I didn't say dashboard, just going to show you some of the uh, summaries of some of the things. For example, here, contacts is going to show you uh, all your um, open contacts or conversations that you, that you have with your contacts. We have assigned and unassigned sections here as well. So you can actually just filter between them, see all of them at once, which is actually great. And if you have this entire thing full, you can just click on view all messages. On the right side, we have the team members tab, which is just going to show us all the users that are working on this workspace. Uh, we have con uh, conversations here and we have more stuff as well in the dashboard. It's just going to be basically where you would want to check things out first. Um, this is one workspace and we can actually go ahead and create multiple to do so. You can just click on my new workspace, click on that and you can just go ahead and I believe uh, create one from here. I actually do create them from settings. I don't think you could create them from here. I'm not sure. Uh, I will show you how to do it from settings though. Anyways, if we just go to inbox here, we can actually just see uh, the inbox. We have all mine and unassigned and we can see the team uh, inbox as well. Uh, if we obviously create a team first. Um, now, if we go to contacts, it's also going to be self-explanatory. You can just see uh, your contacts in here. Now you can just feel free to add your contacts uh, right here. You just click on add contact and you can just feel free to add their first name, last name, phone number, and all their details. And you can add tags which can separate contacts and where you actually got them from. So you can actually make lists of contacts. So it's going to be much easier for you to communicate with them. Uh, or you can just feel free to import your contacts. Now you can have uh, different types of importing. So you can actually just select a CSV file and uh, that's just going to help you import a lot of people at once. Here you will have obviously the uh, uh, the list of all the contacts that you have. All of them are going to show up in here. So it's also self-explanatory. Broadcast, you can just go ahead and click on new broadcast and send a message for multiple people at one time much like the WhatsApp broadcast if you have tested out before. Workflows, we can actually go ahead and start for, with a template. Like I said, it's going to be the automation thing. So we can just go ahead and use templates to get started. Or if you want, you can completely just start from scratch and create your own. So here we have, for example, some of the templates. We have sales call reports. We have unsubscribe from broadcasts. We have which is just going to, I believe, identify contacts who will unsubscribe. Oh, okay. So it's just going to obviously uh, let you know who uh, unsubbed from your broadcasts and so on. So all of those are going to be templates that you can actually use. So I don't believe you will need to work on scratch, uh, create one from scratch unless you just completely can find what you're looking for. But most of these are going to be what people just usually use. So we have this done and good to go. So next we have the reports, which is going to be analytics. And now we have the settings. Now the settings is going to be what you will need to take your time with at first. Uh, if you're just getting started, just go to the settings and go clear things out one by one. Start with the general and uh, go to the users here. You will need to uh, add your um, uh, team members. Basically, you can just add them from here. Click on add user and uh, add their email address and set the access level, whether you're going to be manager, agent, or owner, which is just going to be like yourself. 
click on cancel or just add them to your liking create a team and then we have the most important thing here which is going to be the channels tab here you will need to go ahead and connect them so we selected email i believe and um web chat or website chat anyways does it, i believe it doesn't really matter you can just go ahead and connect them from here so for example if it's whatsapp business you can just click on connect and follow the steps to connect it and same same goes for the rest of these uh networks that we have now we have also more stuff for example respond ai if you want to set up ai prompts that are going to help you with your chat with your customers you can set this up as well here we have the organization settings uh, general is just going to show you your organization that we have just created uh, users again it's just going to show you your users but you can just go to workspaces and you will find all the workspaces that are available and you can create a new one completely new one over here with different users different uh, team members different uh, 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 customers and so on so those are going to be the basic uh, tips and like not tips but this is how to basically get started with respond.io these are the tools that you will need you can just easily work on these tools uh, they're not going to be too difficult to figure out it's very easy to use just set up your automations set up your um, channels and add your team members and you're good to go pretty much you can just get started with contacting your customers easily so i hope that you have found this video to be helpful and thanks for watching